Today we will be showing you how to install a sectional garage door. The tools you will need is an impact wrench with an 11 mm or 7 16 inch socket, a level, a tape measure, an 11 mm or 7 16 inch socket wrench, and locking pliers. First, start by laying out all of the garage door hardware. Put the door panels up on sawhorses or a workbench. Begin by installing the bottom brackets to the bottom of the door using the available mounting holes. Do the same on the other side, making sure that the left bracket is on the left side and the right bracket is on the right side. Next, we will be affixing the door hinges. For a smaller door like this, three will be sufficient. Now we will be attaching the number one hinge. A hinge will be mounted at each end and in the center of the door. This connects the door panels together and allows them to bend. Two screws will be needed to install these. Be sure the hinges are not crooked before tightening down the screws. Next, grab four rollers. The longer ones will go on the bottom, and the shorter ones will go on the top. Then you will grab the two tension cables and attach the looped end to the tab on the door panel. Do the same on the other side. With the help of another person, line the door panel up to the doorway. Make sure the tension cable feeds up and over the panel and is not caught underneath. With the bottom panel in place, you can get the door tracks. These will be temporarily held in place with just one screw and will guide you for the rest of the door panels. Repeat the same steps with the next door panel, but this time with the number two hinge on the sides and the number one hinge in the center. Each consecutive panel will require the next number of hinge, but always keep the number one hinge in the center. Once the hinges have been attached and the rollers are in place, you can feed the next panel through the track and screw the hinges in place. Repeat this step for the remaining door panels and continue to feed the tension cable up past the rollers. Next, we will begin mounting the spring assembly. Get the torsion tube and feed the center bearing plate onto the center. On either side of the center bearing plate, feed the torsion springs onto the tube. Using the supplied bolts and nuts, bolt the ends of the spring through the center bearing plate and together. Make sure these are tight. Then slide the cable drums on. Use the color coding to ensure you have the correct orientation. Finally, put the end bearing plates onto each end. This entire assembly will then be mounted above the door and securely attached to the door tracks. 
We can now finish installing the rest of the door tracks. The length of the hang angle bracket needed to attach the track to your ceiling will depend entirely on the height of your ceiling in respect to the top of the track, so you will need to measure and trim the brackets to size. The bracket you mount to the ceiling should run perpendicular to the track and must be mounted to a stud. In our case, we had to work with these exposed metal trusses. Then you can mount the next bracket. Make sure that this bracket is square to the ceiling and the door track. As you can see, we kept a level on the track to ensure everything was straight and level. Once the bolts have been tightened, go ahead and attach the diagonal support bracket. This will keep everything nice and sturdy, as well as prevent the brackets from shifting. Check the level one last time, and then tighten down all the bolts. Repeat this on the other side. Make sure the garage door hangs level before winding the tension bar. If the door does not hang level, use shims on either side to make it level. This step is critical before winding the door. The next step is securing the tension cables to the cable drums. Begin by bringing the cable up to the drum and inserting it. You may have to loosen the drum bolt to allow the cable to enter. Once inserted, turn the drum until the cable is pulled tight. Tighten the drum bolts to lock in the tension cable and to keep the drum from spinning freely. The next step is tightening the spring. This is an extremely dangerous process and should only be done by a professional. To tighten the springs, you will need two winding bars. And to know how much tension is needed, refer to your manual. The winding is done by leveraging the spring with the winding bar. Once the correct tension is reached, while firmly holding the winding bar, tighten the bolts on the cone. For this installation, you will need a hacksaw, a hammer, pencil, tape measure, and the included nails. Roll out the Duraseal on a flat surface and weigh it down for the seal to relax and straighten out. Measure the width of your header using a tape measure. You may need two people for this step. Using a pencil or pen, mark a piece of Duraseal for your first cut. Carefully cut the Duraseal to length using the hacksaw. Duraseal comes with pre-tapped holes for installation. Starting at the end of the piece, tap a nail halfway into the seal on the pre-marked dimples. Place the seal against the door jamb with the vinyl fin facing inside the garage. Using the hammer, secure the nails partially into the door jamb, allowing for adjustments in later steps. Using the tape measure, measure the vertical side of your door jamb. Using a pen or pencil, make a mark where you need to cut. Carefully cut the Duraseal to length using the hacksaw.
Tap the fasteners halfway into the seal on the pre-marked dimples. Begin at the end of the piece. Lastly, finish securing the Duraseal to the jam by hammering the nails. Thank you for watching this video from NorthshoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.